hi, I'm the heretic. So in the United States, an attorney general is the highest law enforcement official in their area. A state's attorney general is tasked with enforcing state law. Well, obviously. For some reason, though, this position is chosen democratically rather than based on integrity, competence, performance, skill, and knowledge of the law. You know, based on merit. So what should voters look for in a candidate? Integrity? Competence? Performance? Skill? And knowledge of the law? you know, merit, you'd really want to highlight these qualities in your campaign ads, I guess, right? No, of course not. According to the Democrat candidate for the position of Attorney General in the state of Michigan, Dana Nassell, there's only one quality that matters. Hit it. If the last few weeks has taught us anything, it's that we need more women in positions of power, not less. So when you're choosing Michigan's next Attorney General, ask yourself this. Who can you trust most not to show you their penis in a professional setting? Whether or not you have a penis. Is it the candidate who doesn't have a penis? I'd say so. Then again, I think the test should be not to show a, or say the word penis, in a professional setting. Doing great so far, Dan and Nestle. No, really. You failed spectacularly. Some people will tell you I can't be the Democratic nominee for Attorney General here in Michigan because- Are you incompetent? We can't have an all-female ticket for statewide office in 2018. Pundits and insiders are asking, can we afford to have a female governor, a female attorney general, and a female secretary of state? Oh, that tasty straw man. Nobody's asking that. I'm sure you'd all do wonderful jobs stealing from your people and punishing them for violating unjust laws like any priest of statism. Well, I read the news, and I bet you do too. Clearly, you don't. Because if you did, you'd know there's more important things happening in the world besides the world failing to stroke your fragile ego by making you in charge of caging innocent people for nonviolent offenses. And it has me wondering... Can we afford not to? So your big takeaway from the rampant sexual assault allegations across the priesthood of statism and the big fake news media is not that power to be able to abuse shouldn't exist in the first place, but that women isn't in charge. Everything would be great and wonderful and perfect if only the people with the legally recognized right to initiate force and violence against me is women. Now, if you want to know more about what I'll do as Michigan Attorney General, Head to Dana2018.com, but- I looked at her site, and if I were her, I'd be so ashamed of what my policy positions are, I'd not want to leave with them on my campaign ads too. It's all just meaningless social justice warrior buzzwords. Right now, I want to tell you what you can expect me not to do. Become Attorney General? I will not sexually harass my staff, and I won't tolerate it in your workplace either. I won't walk around in a half-open bathrobe. Congratulations for making the brave and difficult decision to perform the bare minimum of basic decency and human interaction, because men obviously can't be expected to. This is so laughably absurd. It's like if I promise to hold a conversation with you without eating your face. You're not going to congratulate me on that, are you? But wait. If men in general are incapable of meeting the standard of basic human interaction, who are you to criticize for it any more than I am I criticize a goldfish for failing to articulate Einstein's theory of relativity? I really want to eat your face, though. Mm. And I'll continue to take all sex crimes seriously, just like I did as a prosecutor. Do you need me to congratulate you on promising to do your job, too? Here's a question I want to float by you guys. How often do priests of statism break their campaign promises? You won't find me using your hard-earned tax dollars to silence victims or join right-wing lawsuits that make it harder for you to get health insurance. Yeah, because ink and a pen is so expensive. What the hell does right-wing even mean anyways? Anyone who's less enthusiastic about a totalitarian dictatorship than Che Guevara? I'll be too busy doing what I've always done. Going to bat for the people who need it most, and winning. Yes, I'm a woman. Did you just assume your gender? You know who isn't represented in the government of the state of Michigan? Demi-queer, hydrosexual crayfish. You need to fix this right now, Michigan. That's not a liability. That's an asset. An asset. Mm. I'm 
Dana Nessel. I approve of putting more women on the ticket in November. And I approve this message. Dana Nessel, vote for me because woman. Though to be fair, she's a perfect fit for the state of Michigan. The sole purpose for that state's continued existence is to serve as an example for the failure of Democrat policies. Detroit. She'll fit right in. Her crash and bird will have nothing to do with the fact that she's woman. It's because she's an idiot.